So he'd fire off Blade Shun, I'd do a Victory Smite, we'd create light, and then he'd burst. But he'd burst with San magic and tier one black magic, both doing between like five and 10K a burst. Those are Shantoto 2 numbers. Most of Final Fantasy XI is now soloable thanks to Trust Magic, summoning NPCs uh, from the game to support various roles in parties when you can't find a player or don't want to to support that particular role. There are currently somewhere around like 120 trusts available to the player, and depending on what your job is and what you're trying to do, different combinations of those are most effective at you know achieving that goal and doing it efficiently, fast, with, with gusto. But one of the most common that people use trust for are when they can't find a full party for capacity point farming and they want to grind out some job points with a bunch of trusts. That is where the efficiency really comes into play because if you're setting up strong, powerful skill chains easily, often, bursting on them intensely, like that, that's what you want. If you have the wrong set of trusts, even one or two wrong trusts can slow you down significantly. That's why the announcement that Final Fantasy XI was introducing a new trust chosen by the player base in a, I don't know, survey contest? <laughs> where they offered up three different kinds of trusts, and the winner was uh, the Matsui P Trust, the Ninja Black Mage Tarotar that would both do uh, ninjutsu, weapon skills, and uh, burst with some black magic, which sounds incredible. Of course, we've seen stuff like this before, and you know, the burst would end up being like, okay, it's, he burst for 200 damage, isn't that, isn't that fun? He's trying, <laughs> like it wouldn't matter, but it's just something he's doing. But we had to bust him out and see if uh, the Matsui P Trust was gonna be useful, and what my thoughts are. So now he's been out for a little while, we put Monster P through his paces uh, on stream last week. By the way, if you didn't know, we do stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Definitely stop by. We play a lot of Final Fantasy XI, we've been playing a lot of Destiny 2 lately, uh, all sorts of goofy other games that are trying to find the, the perfect multiplayer game. I know it's out there. It does exist. But yeah, stop by. So let's walk down how this trust behaves, because honestly, trust can behave very differently from uh, fight to fight, job to job, your TP level, <laughs> they, they react to a lot of things that the player does, or sometimes do things all on their own, ignoring you completely. It all depends on how they were designed. Matsui P, definitely in a high priority of his, his event list, uh, opens up the, the fight with some enfeebling ninjutsu, does some attack down, uh, some others, I kind of forget, and then hits himself with a new Tsuzumi san just for some protection. He's not doing any kind of provokes, he doesn't have a, a warrior sub job, he's not going to be tanking, but the Tsuzumi san is nice for him to just kind of be a little bit more durable throughout fights. I will say, Shantoto 2 can go down a lot if she's hit with like some random stuff and steals hate for a second, so that is cool to see. When I was out there on Summoner, he would slowly build up TP and then eventually using something like Blade Retsu. And I was like, oh, this is this is not gonna work. He's he's gonna be a trash, trash party member. I'm never gonna use him again. But part of that was because I was changing weapons constantly and I never had any TP. So he was just doing whatever the hell he felt like. We switched over to Pup where I was gaining TP, you know, consistently and to 100% TP. And things really started to take off. Then he picked the absolute best weapon skill he could think of that would skill chain with me, told me the element that I should use, I think he said fragmentation, he's like, use a fragmentation weapon skill, and fired off Blade Shun, one of uh, Ninja's best weapon skills. Now I will say, the, the Ninja weapon skill damage, he did like 2k on average, uh, somewhere between, that. it would go as low as 500 and up to like, I think 2.5k was his best. The weapon skill damage was not significant. But he warned me in party chat, he said, uh, using weapon skill, starting skill chain right now, which isn't like a huge deal. Obviously I would have seen him use his weapon skill, but with things being so active, it is kind of a nice trust feature that I wish more trusts would implement. It'd be cool if they kind of told you what they were doing a little bit more often. Why, why isn't that a thing, Square Enix? Like that is such a useful feature for them to just briefly be like, hey, I'm doing this or I'm starting this. That makes it a lot more like I'm in a party with people that might have macros or just typing saying like, hey, I'm gonna kick this skill chain off. It reminds me of playing in a group and it helps when there's actually communication in a game like Final Fantasy XI that requires so much interconnected teamwork. Long story short, yeah, the chat messages are goofy, but they are kind of helpful and I wish more trust did them. So he'd fire off Blade Shun, I'd do a victory smite, we'd create light and then He'd burst, but he'd burst with San magic and tier one black magic, both doing between like five and 10K a burst. Those are Shantoto 2 numbers. 
besides just the cool flavor and flair of him casting San Elemental Magic <laughs> and bursting for 10k, it's awesome that he bounces back and forth between both because it's very it's very fast and if you're doing two light skill chains back to back, light and then what is it, radiance, he'll burst on both. So weapon skill damage is weak, but he did some useful and feebles, uh, he's got some sustainability, he's opening skill chains at the light level, which is honestly kind of critical. There aren't that many trusts that will actively watch your TP, and if you're ready, they'll go consistently with the same weapon skill. A lot will go. They don't always go with the same one. Uh, a lot of the samurais often will be more like aware of what you're doing and have TP going, and they're ready to make skill chains. They're kind of like skill chain trust, but a lot of the trusts will just sit and they actually want to close on you, which isn't always the most effective way because the player generally has a, a much stronger climb of, of damage output, and eventually you just want to be the closer. So it's it's pretty cool that like as soon as you have TP and he's done his little initial enfeebling, he'll be like, okay, I'm gonna open your skill chain for you, here you go, and then burst like crazy on it afterwards. Beyond all that, he also casts stun. He'll stun enemy weapon skills and techniques. That's awesome. There's only a few trusts that do that consistently at all. Zide 2 being one of them. And look, Zide 2 is awesome, but his opening techniques aren't quite as consistent as Matsui P's. He'll he'll open skill chains, but he'll also wait a lot of time. He likes to close. He'll he'll go off of other people in the party sometimes and kind of screw everything up. And obviously he's not bursting at all. There's no bursting coming from Zide 2. That you need Chantoto 2 to fire up those numbers. So Matsui P ends up kind of being this combination enfeebler. At a, at a minor level, but it can't be overlooked. Zide 2 with stuns and, and great weapon skills for skill chains. And Shantoto 2 with the bursts. Except that unlike Shantoto 2, he's not interrupting critical skill chain components with his own weapon skill because he was the one who opened for you. So overall, uh, I mean, it depends on your job. Because I still think jobs like Summoner, Black Mage, Scholar, Nah, Scholar could take an open on their own skill chains. But regardless, uh, anybody that's more of a caster and they're waiting to burst and trying to set up skill chains without building TP themselves, they're still going to struggle with this guy. He's he's defined around the idea that he's going to skill chain with you. He's waiting for you to have TP. If you don't have TP, he'll eventually go, but it won't be consistent and it won't like create a, a nice flow. There's ways around that. You can stop your weapon transferring. You can build up TP and kind of like set up some stuff anyway. But it's a little more annoying. But if you're a melee job that can skill chain with Ninja, I think he's one of the best trusts available right now. On Pup, he's certainly, I, I think, the best. I, I totally would cut out Zide, Aroha, Shantoto 2, all three of them, and just put out him for burst damage, skill chain setup, and support. We had so much fun. I set up I set up Pamama to be just ultimate black mage bursting setup and just fired off skill chains every fight and had pamama burst with matsui p bursting and it, we were destroying stuff so if you're wondering at this point why i'm not like shouting from the rooftops how excited i am about matsui p and like how amazing this is it is awesome i'm very excited but i'm also a little frustrated a few years ago you re may remember they offered uh, the cornelia trust which is just a it wasn't even, it's not a Geomancer, it's not a Bard, it just offered buffs. Haste, accuracy, I think attack was in there. It was just a general buff aura around Cornelia. And it was one of the most useful trusts out there to just like throw out some magical haste and some other stuff and just get a few common benefits from an NPC. And she was great for like a year. And then they just took her away. She was never intended to be permanent. They, they announced that when they introduced Cornelia. I missed that, but they were just kind of like, yeah, Cornelia is nice. Uh, enjoy her for about a year. And then we're removing her, which I never understood. Why? What was the purpose of so long? It wasn't like a week event. Where it's like, hey, this trust is going to be out there for like a week. It's kind of fun. It was, it was like six to 12 months. I forget the exact time range, but it was long. You get used to it. You get used to having Cornelia as an available option. And then it's just gone. I bring up Cornelia because... They're doing that with Matsui P. They already announced that Matsui P is not a permanent trust. He's only going to be out here for like six months. I guess one of which is already gone. And he's critically awesome and amazing. And it's really frustrating that I'm going to get used to using him for all sorts of content, especially job point grinding. 
and figuring out this amazing flow. And then one day, Monster Peach is going out the window and I'll have to figure out how to re-engage with all the other trusts again to create like something even close to him, which I won't because he's he's doing skill chains, some support, and huge damage burst numbers. There is no trust that currently exists that does all three of those consistently and effectively and in an order that doesn't screw up your attempt to be consistent. Yeah. I don't know. It is really cool, especially for Pup. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be this huge game changer for for maybe other jobs, but like anybody that's looking for some burst damage and wants to open up a skill chain, it all depends on whether or not you've got a good skill chain going with Ninja, but you probably can. I'd be curious to see, uh, you know, any Dark Knights out there or, or Dragoons, anybody that's tried with a different job with Matsui P. Did you have any struggles where he maybe didn't fire off the, the same weapon skill consistently? Because I have seen some trust that occasionally when like your only option, because they, they look at what weapon skills you have available and they fire something off. And, and sometimes it just works that you sort of filter them down to one spot. They really don't even have any other options that they can then skill chain with you. And it creates this really consistent flow. But if they have multiple options, they may bounce between them. So he may, if he could have made light or darkness with me, maybe he would have tried and it wouldn't have been consistent. Well, hang on, I've got a and Fist. I forget what side the ninjutsu is on darkness. Anyways, doesn't matter. Point being, he may be more consistent with certain jobs than others. I still think he's an incredibly strong trust. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments. Have you been playing Final Fantasy XI with the new Monster EP? Have you been playing Final Fantasy XI at all? And uh, what are your thoughts on this trust? What are your thoughts on this process of introducing temporary trust that only exists for a certain period of time and then they're just gone is it good does it keep things fresh and different or is it just kind of frustrating i don't know let me know your thoughts otherwise you guys all have a good one uh by the way happy new year this is the first video of the new year hope you all have an amazing uh holiday and you're doing great and playing some good games and stuff and otherwise i'll, I'll see you guys all in the next one peace nailed it Mama should be ready again. Oh, but Chanteau hops in, turning it into a distortion. Where do we go from here? Hard to say. But Mama's gonna do armor piercer for darkness? Yeah, there it is. Interesting. You guys keep it up. You guys have fun without me. <laughs>